Yeah, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to pull the collective energy. See what's going on with you guys today, <clears throat> tonight. Whenever you're tuning in, it's not time sensitive, y'all. All right, so let's see what comes out. <clears throat> Man holding a coin in the reverse. This could be past, present, or future energies for any one of you. Because y'all can see my throat chakra <clears throat> is trying to mess up, y'all. So excuse me. <clears throat> I will get this reading going, y'all. Okay. I may have to get up and shut my door because my son is playing his video game. So it seems like he's getting a little loud. <clears throat> Don't forget, flip the rose. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. And please use the spirit of discernment, okay? All right, so anxiety and the magician. So the man holding a coin, reverse, anxiety, upright, magician in the mirror. Okay, so this seems like it's more centered around um, someone feeling insecure, like not enough. It could be somebody who doesn't have your best interest, but I don't know. I feel like I'm getting a different feeling off of that. So let's see what's going on. Why is this man holding a coin in the reverse? Six of Cups. So this man is in nostalgia. It's like they're thinking of something here from the past. But the Ace of Wands comes out in the reverse position. Definitely some type of lack of clarity or ideas that this person is having. Ideas. The Emperor comes out. Okay. It's like this person wants to take action on something. You know, the emperor is somebody that, that goes, you know, they take charge. They go and do what they got to do. They have a plan, okay? And it feels like this is what this person wants to do. Yeah, when it comes to relationships, okay? But let's find out why the Ace of Wands is in the reverse. They got some type of anxiety or something here about how to manifest this or how to feel confident um, in the manifestation. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is in the reverse position. Three of Cups. Knight of Wands reverse. Hmm. So when it comes to the people that's most important to them, it's like they get the scattered energy. And that's what creates the delays and the frustration. And it's like when it comes to, you know, um, commitment and all that other stuff of doing something conventional, it's like this person gets this lack of ideas. Hold on one second, y'all. And even though this may be, you know, like a good time, a happy time, it's just something here about commitment or about doing stuff that's conventional or staying the course, you know, that could be where this man gets stuck okay so clarify the anxiety mm -hmm. so they could be caught up in the illusion you know it's like even though everything is good he's like all right this my this person supports me um all is well you know i have a good time with this person um but they get caught up in this illusion like things may not be exactly what it seems like it may appear to be this way but guess what it's going it could change okay and then they experience this mood swing all right so it's like all right it's good but then boom they get triggered or something is like nah it's not exactly what it seems and instead of listening to their intuition and following their heart again and releasing that fear or whatever those repressed emotions are they go into a state of anxiety a state of fear all right um wow Tell me about the magician in the mirror. Yeah, three of pentacles reverse. So when it comes to literally manifesting a connection with someone where 
you guys actually share the same goals or on the same page. They don't believe that they can do it. They they haven't seen it. They get put into the illusions because of, you know, what could have happened in their past. The instability that was there in their past. Yep, Ada Michaels comes out. So, in, a, in, in reality, there's no restrictions. It's like they are free. They are free to make whatever choice that they want to make in the situation, but they're still not seeing things clearly. But it's going to require, like, you know, carriage. It's going to require, uh, yeah, you got to be confident. Okay, the high priestess comes out. It's going to require you to tap into your intuition. <laughs> you understand? To really reflect because it's a lot of valuable information there. But again, this man is not seeing things clearly. So tell me about the anxiety card. The will. Mm-hmm. And the queen of Raphael. Like I said, it's like they get this anxiety because it's like, will things get better? Will things actually change? Will this change in direction really offer me the happiness that I'm looking for, you know, or that I want? And instead of following that heart, the queen of Raphael, or say like if you're the queen, okay, you literally follow your heart. You got a love for home and family and you trust your intuitions and things like this. Like you are that person. But in their mind's eyes, like they keep getting caught up in the illusions. They keep getting caught up in the past memories, okay? Instead of focusing on the good times and the, and, the, and the changes that have actually transpired in their life, okay? So a lot of, this person is very anxious. Um, I just heard they need some type of anxiety meds, but or they need to do something to work on that anxiety, seek therapy, you know, put a little bit more energy into, into that part. Tell me about the magician in the mirror. But it also, it, it's like trauma, okay? So it's like, instead of realizing that they actually have what it takes, you know, to be able to manifest a connection like this, it's like they don't even really believe that they actually manifested a connection like the one that y'all have. Change your life. You know, can I change, really change my life? The lovers. Can this situation really change my life? Right? But this is something that, has to be made from the heart. This is a choice that literally has to be made from the heart. Like what you two or what you may have had with this person, it was deep. It was emotional. It was mutual. Okay. Um, but they have to be able to embrace the opportunity that this change is going to bring. Right. But it feels like they're going to get this sudden revelation. Revelation. Tell me about that. That may offer them the freedom. Okay. That they need. Five of Cups comes up, right? Because they're so focused on the loss and the disappointment and the grief and things like that um, from being let down. 818 on the timer. Six of Swords. Something's going to cause them to move on. Where well, they're going to move on and go through this transition, but it's going to be with ease and grace. What is this? Tell me about the sudden revelation that offers the freedom. Mm. The karmic. Whoever this karmic energy is, the queen of pentacles. Whatever happens in that situation with this person, it's going to help them to be able to move forward. It's going to help them to accept the lessons from that situation. And it's going to give them the confidence that they need to be able to make the right choice from their heart. Okay, so yeah, this queen of pentacles reverse is there for lessons. That's just what it is. Six of wands comes out. Is there for lessons. This person is, is very self-absorbed, very envious, selfish type of person. And so the recognition that they want is more about their own success versus, versus the collective. Okay. Um, three of Wands. Like I said, it's like they're going to be able to get the progress that they want to see. Okay. And... Um, that's going to help them to be able to move forward and make the right choice from their heart, right? So, yeah, that card is all about moving forward. All of it is about moving forward. But at the moment, again, it could be stuck in some type of anxiety or fear about making this choice. Okay, y'all? So, thank you so much. Hit the like button, booze. Peace.